Welcome back to the channel and as you can see unfortunately I'm on my own. As I said earlier on on YouTube it's been a hell of a week. I felt that I needed to come on and do some explaining on what's been going on this week. Mark's not been feeling too well this week so I've been on my own doing most of the things. Regarding Betty I've had a lot of messages regarding what's happening with the damage on our motorhome. She's going into the garage this week and take her away so when we get her back we're not quite sure. Again I'll have to keep you updated on social media on what's happening there but it, a lot of people were saying it's not too bad. It, it, we, it's bad for us. <laughs> it's bad enough for us uh, looking at it every day. It didn't pierce the skin. Asking People are asking if it pierced the skin. It didn't pierce the skin, thankfully, but she's going to have to have... I don't know what they're going to do, but it's going to have to be all resprayed as well to match the van. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't run into a lot of money and we get her back on the road very soon. We have said before, we have a lot of plans and things are changing constantly. Uh, we might be ill this week, it's put a bit of a back burner on a few things. We were due to go to New York next month. Uh, Mark got me as a Christmas present and we're going to take you lot with us. We might have been looking at hiring an RV while we're over there as well, but we've had to cancel that holiday due to circumstances, that, again, that are coming up in the future plans. Plus, we've also been updated on a few things in New York um, expense wise as well it has gone very expensive so thankfully we have been managed to get our money back on that holiday but unfortunately we now we won't be going so that was going to be one of the big surprises for you guys when we turned up in America on one of our vlogs but don't worry there is still plenty of trips planned for this year and we will be taking you along with us I just want to give a big shout out to Soulwise Limited who sent us a while ago a Teltonica router and this 5G antenna. This hasn't been fitted yet but we have got the internet installed now in the van. Um, obviously Mark's not too well at the moment so it can't get up on the roof which I'm not too bothered about him doing either. We're going to have to look at getting some decent ladders before he gets up there because you all know what happened the last time Mark went on the roof. So this should help the internet even better in remote areas so we're hoping when we go off grid uh, in the trips upcoming we'll have full internet connection and coverage the details for Soulwise limited will be in the description below please click on there and have a look and see we will give you updates on how we find the internet but up to now we're getting some really good speeds we've also been getting asked which shows we're attending this year unfortunately we're going to tr concentrate more on our travels this year so up to now we have no plans to attend any shows we'd rather give you unique content rather than the same as what everyone else is putting out because a lot of youtubers go to these shows so i'm sure they'll cover it all for you we'd rather give you something a little bit different as always you can always catch us on our youtube and you can also get daily updates on instagram and our facebook page uh, if you need any questions just message us and we will always answer you we do still have the usual video coming out this tuesday we did manage to film a weekend away before mark got poorly so that will be going out this tuesday regarding content for next week not too sure yet uh, it might be one of mark's fix it wednesdays that he's already recorded we'll see how he feels and we'll update you nearer the time so on the last vlog i asked if you had any animals at watchers or if you want any shout outs i've had an amazing response so much so i've had to write them all down first one uh, the yorkshire man would like to say hi to his wife joanne I've got a happy birthday to Terry Clark from her husband. He did tell me how old you were, Terry, but I won't disclose it on our channel. Very naughty, that. <laughs> um, I've got a hi to John Edwards, who's one of our Facebook members. We have received another super thanks this week as well from Angie Donaldson and her husband as we managed to save them quite a few pounds on their motorhome insurance. Uh, she asked us who we used and we told them she's rung them up and got it a lot cheaper than what she could get it before. So we appreciate that super thanks Angie. Um, I'll put it towards the repairs for better um, when the bill comes in. Now I've got some animal shout outs. Uh, these are subscribers that have got cats, dogs, they're all watchers and apparently go mental when Woody comes on the screen. So I've got Nick Davis and his cat Tabitha. Lulu020304. That's a mouthful. And Jack Russell Ronnie. Lindsay Gedlin and Fergus the Wester. Karen and Rod Hall and their Cavapoo Presley. And Brandon Turner and his dog Porter. I hope you're all watching. 
Uh, now, I'm going to get to something that's a bit sensitive and I've left it till last because I don't know how I'm going to get through this. But this is the bad news that we've had this week. I'm starting already. Um, right. <clears throat> When we got back off our last trip, um, on the night time, Woody had quite a bad turn. Um, so much so that he, he, he had quite a... It looked, we thought he were fitting um, and we actually thought we'd lost him there and then. His tongue was hanging out and his eyes were fixed and he'd stopped breathing. Some strange reason, I don't remember, it was because I was shouting and screaming, he actually came back, he started breathing again. So we looked after him during the night and on the Monday we decided to take him to the vet. The vet looked over him. He was having problems with his breath. His breathing was quite concerning. So we all decided there and then to try him on some steroids because we thought it may be his heart. And he was due to go back in on the Friday just gone. We got to Thursday and I was quite concerned because he was getting quite a big swollen stomach. So I rang the vet and we took him in on Thursday night for her to look at him. She did a scan, she did blood tests. There was a, quite a lot of concern around, growing around him. And after about an hour and a half, we got the bloods back and his stomach was full of fluid. And she also said that the bloods had come back and his liver was fine, his kidneys showed a bit of disease, but nothing to be concerned about. The fluid was being caused more than likely through heart failure. But she was quite astounded by Woody's sparkiness in the vets. To look at him, he seemed fine. So we were asked the question, and I was not happy for that time to come just yet, looking at him. So we decided, we decided to take him home. The vet was happy for us to do that. And she's also put him on some more tablets for his heart and the fluid retention. As it stands at the moment, he's still here. Um, he's doing well, but the prognosis is not good. We are, we are just keeping him comfortable. He's not in any pain. If he was in pain, we wouldn't let him go through what he's going through. The vet is in contact with us. Um, and if anything changes and he does be start becoming in pain, then we'll have a very difficult decision to make. But he's eating and drinking. He's going out, weeing and pooing. He's walking. So until that time comes, we'll keep him comfortable and give him all the love that we can, as usual. We will keep you updated. I just didn't want to come on camera one day and tell you that he'd passed because I don't think that would be very fair. It's come as a shock to us and it'll probably come to a shock. It'll probably come to a shock as a shock to a lot of you guys as well. So I just didn't want to do that and I wanted to be honest with you and keep you updated because a lot of you are asking me where Woody is or if we don't put him on the vlogs, where's Woody? So I just didn't want to keep explaining where he was. Please don't worry. But like I say, he's 15 this year. He's done really, really well. We're loving him and we're making sure he's very comfortable. And that's the most we can do at the moment. Yeah. Right. Sorry I got so emotional. But yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed for Woody. Send your prayers and love. And we'll keep you updated. But for now, guys, it's I'm going to end this vlog. Um, It's been a tough one to do. Don't forget to join us on Tuesday for our new vlog. Remember to follow us on our Instagram and Facebook for daily updates. And until next time... We'll see you, both of us hopefully, on the next one.